Hello and welcome to a lesson on converting recurring decimals into fractions. Now despite the really boring title of this lesson, I hope that you're really going to get into it and actually find it quite fun. We'll see. Um, if you're enjoying these lessons, please don't forget to subscribe and like um, because it really does help others to find the lessons and benefit from them as well. Okay, so let's do this. So what's a recurring decimal first of all? Um, a recurring decimal is one that has um, a number that repeats itself in the decimal places. So in this case, it's um, 0 0.22222. Okay, we don't have to write all those twos. It does go on forever. So to show that, what we usually show is that it's 0 0.2. We just put a little dot on the top to show that it's recurring. Okay, so um, this is the process. Okay, this is the, this is the method that you should use. The easiest process there is to convert that into a fraction without using your calculator. Okay, so the first thing is we're going to call that first number two 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 and so on. We're going to call it x. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to multiply that value of x, multiply the x by a multiple of ten in order to create another number that also has those um, recurring decimals. So in the, probably the easiest one to do, okay, is to times it by the first multiple of 10, which is 10, okay? We could have a 10, 100, 1,000, they're the first three multiples of 10, okay? I'm just gonna go for 10x, because I know that when I times that number above by 10, I'm just gonna move this decimal point there, okay? And what I get is 2.22222222, so on, okay? Now I've got these two things, I can actually get rid of the, um, of the decimal places by being very clever. So what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna write them in a different order. I'm gonna put the 10x at the top. Okay, and I'm gonna put the x underneath it. And all I'm gonna do is subtract, okay? Watch this. So what I end up with is 10x, take away x, which is 9x. Then I've got 2.22222222, subtract 0 0.22222222. Okay, well basically all those decimal places are gonna cancel each other out. Two minus two, 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 two minus two. They're all gonna become zeros and I'm gonna get to two minus zero, which is two. Okay, so what I now find is that Given this value of x that I set 0 0.22222222, if I times that by 9, it's equal to 2. And I can just go and um, rearrange this now and make x the subject. And to make x the subject, I would divide both sides of that by 9. So I get 2 ninths as my answer. Now I can go and check that on my calculator and go do that. Okay, it's really nice to see um, it confirms. So 2 ninths is equal to 0 0.2 recurring. Okay. Let's try one more. Um, so how about this one? I'm going to move it on slightly. 12.4 recurring. Okay. Um, so convert to a fraction. Okay. So 12.4 recurring. Now what is 12.4 recurring? It's 12.4444444. Okay and so on, it goes on forever. I'm going to set this equal to x, okay? I'm gonna call it x. And my method is that I'm going to now try to multiply by a multiple of 10 in order to create another number that also has the same recurring decimals, okay? Now I'm gonna think about, you know, times in by the smallest possible, if, if possible, and it's, it's 10, isn't it, okay? So if I times by 10, I'm actually going to put it up here, just based on experience from the last question, okay, because I know what's going to come next. 10x, if I move the decimal place, is 124.44444. Okay, and I'm going to go and do the same thing. I'm going to subtract. So I'm going to make a subtraction. 10x take away x is 9x. Then I've got all these decimal places are going to cancel each other out until I get to the decimal point where I've got 124 minus 12, which is 112. And so my x, if I make x the subject, is equal to 112. 
over nine. Again, go check it on your calculator and you'll be very pleased to see this answer come up. Yep, okay. Next one. Let's look at this one. Um, how about this time? Um, 15, so convert. Um, 15. 0.27 recurring, both of those recurring, um, converts into a fraction. Okay, so let's go. Excuse the handwriting, sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's set it equal to, I'm going to go in a different colour so it stands out, um, x equal to 15 point. Now, both of these things are recurring, so what that means is I've got 2, 7, 2, 7, 2, 7, 2, 7, 2, 7, and so on like that, okay? And so I've got to think now, is it going to be 10? Now, if I times it by 10, um, I'd get 10x equal to 152.7272. Can you see that's not the same set of decimal places as 2, 7, 2, 7, 2, 7. It's actually 7, 2, 7, 2, 7, 2. It's not what I want. Okay, so I'm actually going to have to think about the next multiple of 10, which is 100x, because that would actually make me um, move this to two decimal places then, would be 1527.272727, and so on, yeah? Okay, and at this point then, I'm going to do my... Subtraction. So these are all going to these are all going to cancel each other out until I get to one thousand five hundred twenty-seven minus fifteen. Okay. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to do this side first. Hundred x minus x is ninety-nine x. Let's deal with the left-hand side first. Okay, where was I? One thousand one thousand five hundred twenty-seven subtract fifteen is one thousand five hundred and twelve. Okay, so my answer here is going to be one thousand five hundred twelve divided by ninety-nine. Okay, so what I had the, re, the the way that I got this was I took the you know the um, the whole numbers here the integers one five two seven and fifteen all the rest of the decimal places just cancelled each other out so I was subtracting there okay okay let's have a look at another one um, how about this one then um, we've got zero point uh write the question again we know the question is 0 0.02 recurring okay so what what is that number okay well it's x it's equal to 0 0.02222222 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. okay now the zero is um causing a bit of a problem here because if i just times by 10 i'm going to get 0 0.22222 and i wouldn't start dealing with that because um, on its own with the x because I've got the zero here. So actually, let's have a look at finding 10x first. Well, 10x is 0 0.22222. And I really could do with finding another number that's also got all twos as their decimal places. And that's going to be 100x. Okay. I'm not going to use this initial answer, this initial value actually, because of that zero there, okay. I can't really multiply this by any other multiple of 10 and ha still have that zero there. So what I'm going to have is, is this instead. So it's 2.22222222. When I subtract, I'm going to get 100 minus 10, which is 90x equal to. Now all these decimal places again are going to cancel. And then I've got 2 minus 0, which is 2. So my answer here is when I did make x a subject, divide both sides by 90, is 2 over 90. I could even simplify that to 1 over 45. Okay, so it's 1 45th is your answer there. All right. Um, one more for good luck, okay? Another quite difficult one now. Hope that made sense. Okay, so we're aiming to have, basically, the aim is to have all the decimal places matching so that they can cancel and subtract. Let's do another one. Um, this time we've got 0 0.0371. Those 3, 7, and 1 are all recurring. Okay, so convert to a fraction. Let's just write down what this number is first of all. So we can have a look at it and decide what to do. 0 0.0, it's 371, 371, 371, 371, and that continues. Okay, 
And again, the zero is sort of the problem here because I can't really multiply by 10 or 100 in a thousand, still have the zero sitting there. Okay, so let's think about, first of all, timesing by 10. Um, and if I times it by 10, I get um, 0 0.371, 371, 371, 371, and so on. How else could I end up with those decimal places? Well, that would make 371. I'm going to have to, that would make 713. That would make 137. I'm going to have to move the decimal point there, actually, whoops, um, to make the next, it's the next opportunity to make a, um, a number that has 371, 371, 371 in its decimal places. So I'm going to have to not multiply by 10, not multiply by 100, not multiply by 1,000, but actually multiply by 10,000. Okay, so, uh, oh, kind of, oh, let's, let's find the value first, 10,000 decks. That's going to be, um, it's going to be 371. Okay, see where the decimal place has gone. So I've got 371 in front, and then I've got 371, 371, 371, and so on. Okay, I've actually done this in the wrong way. So I need to, I need to do my subtraction. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do negative numbers. So I'm going to write them out again, but just the other way around so I can do the subtraction. So 10,000, we've worked out 10,000 X is 371.371371371. And 10 X is equal to um, 0 0.371371371. Now if I do my subtraction, okay, let's start from the left-hand side. 10,000 take away 10 is 9,990 x and that's equal to um well, all these are going to cancel then i get to here and i've got 371 minus 0 371 okay so the last job is to make x the subject by dividing through by 9990 so i get x equals 371 over 9990 and that is that yes almost yeah quite complicated um recurring decimal in fractional form. I hope that's okay. If you understand that last example, you are laughing, okay? Um, and yeah, we've, we've gone quite quickly through them, um, going through the levels of complexity. I hope that's nice and clear. Good luck with the work.